Hello everyone, Scott Roberts here. Today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use the PMC8 go-to system from Explore Scientific. So we'll go over the main features and parts of the PMC8 system. Um, this is the gift box with my uh, favorite Will Tyrion star map um, on there. Lift that up and you can see the PMC8 box here up on top. You can lift that out. Uh, there's all the connectors and everything there. We'll cover that. Up underneath here are the cables, um, a power supply, uh, DB9 cables for the uh, motor assembly, assemblies anyways, and then uh, an antenna and a strap um, with a, um, uh, a little uh, adapter so it's easy to slide the whole PMC8 up off the leg, but attach it to the leg if you want to. I guess there's a number of ways that you can mount that because it is a wireless system and the DB9 cables um, are pretty long. We chose DB9s because DB9 cables are available from virtually any electronic store. It's worth mentioning that the electronics are conformal coated and that protects them. So the strap has this little T-channel adapter right here and that T-channel adapter fits on the back, slides right in the back of the uh, PMC8 uh, console itself. And all we do is you take the strap and you would uh, just wrap it around the uh, leg. It's got a Velcro strap on it and holds it in place. And then you can just slide on the PMC-8 at any position that you'd like to and it'll hold in place. So this is the PMC-8 uh, connector side. Uh, over here is a window with the LED lights that show power and also show communication wirelessly or wired, and I'll show you how that can be done here in a moment. Uh, that's the uh, power input. Uh, this is the RA connector, that's the declination connector. Um, this is a CCD auto guider port, uh, and also a port where you can plug in the telescope drive master, which will uh, improve periodic error of a drive. Uh, and then up here is another DB9 connector, and this is for updating the console or for uh, times when you don't want to go wireless and you want to go straight into your uh, laptop. When you're installing the RA and declination motor cables, you'll notice that the, uh, that the DB9 cables have a female side and they have a male side. And we have made it so that uh, one motor has female while the other motor has male. And it's also like that on the PMC8 box. So you can't reverse the cables accidentally. Uh, you can't mess it up. And so it just uh, uh, slides on and then they screw down uh, with the uh, little thumb screws here on both sides and you got it all set up. So if you're going to operate wirelessly, uh, you need to plug in the antenna and that just screws on like so. And then to get maybe get a better reception, you can aim the antenna uh, as such. It's also important to note that you can switch channels uh, and there's a little connector that goes into the CCD port and you can power cycle it and get onto a different Wi-Fi channel if you're in an area where there's a lot of Wi-Fi. We chose stepper drives on the deck axis and the RA axis for the PMC-8 uh, for a couple of good reasons. One of them is, is that if your telescope actually crashes into a wall or maybe the cables get wrapped up and it, it uh, keeps the drives from moving, the stepper drive will not damage itself. It won't damage the electronics. Uh, it will uh, sit there and make kind of a rocking, knocking noise. But uh, another thing it won't damage, it won't damage your gears because it won't continue to drive past a certain point, um, although the, the electronics will stay on. The other reason why is that uh, stepper motors are really quiet and that's more uh, neighborly if you are at star parties or uh, if you're operating in your backyard. So uh, a nice quiet telescope is always a benefit. 